Oh my people. So I got a haircut. It's not drastic. It's like just right here. But before it was like here. I took a selfie like the day before I got my haircut so I could like see the difference. My hair before you can't really see but I don't want to unfocus the camera because then it's like difficult for me to focus it again perfectly. But anyway as you can tell it was like down to like here. My sister Mia cut her hair like here. Everyone is cutting their hair short now and I kind of wanted to do it but then I was like no I cannot. I would get like hair withdrawal. A lot of you guys might be wondering why I went to California and basically I went to look at colleges. I just went on like this random trip with my mom which was really exciting and I vlogged the whole trip but I still don't have the password to my vlog channel because of the whole hacking thing so I need to figure that out and I will I promise I will upload like four days of vlogs and it'll be great but um I just need to figure out that password. <sighs> so guess what? I bought my first pack of Girl Scout cookies. They just came up to me outside my grocery store and they were like, oh my god, will you buy Girl Scout cookies? And it was so, so, so cute. Felt good buying them. I used to do lemonade stands with my sisters for hours and we'd be like so mad when people would just walk by and not buy anything. So like, yeah, I know what it's like. I got you Girl Scouts. So I kind of like made a pact with myself on Black Friday that I wasn't going to shop until spring, but I didn't know I was going to go to California. Like, come on, I gotta give myself some credit. First, I'm going to show you what I got from LF. It's like a boutique type store, but they have them basically everywhere in California. And I know they have LF in Miami also, and I think um, in New York. When we went to different places, I would always use LF as like a destination just so we could find like the areas where the good shopping is because LF is always on the streets where like the good shops are. And LF was in like every single area we went to. We went to like Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, we went to, um, went to San, there's so many Sands in California. We went to San Francisco, we went to... LA and just like all these places and there was LF everywhere and LF was having their big 60% off, 70% off, like it keeps going, sale and they only have like two a year. I went three times. There's different stuff at every store and the sale is just so good and I couldn't resist because I love their clothes. So the first thing I got was this dress and I'm wearing it right now because I love it. Anyways, it's just like a navy blue dress with little pink flower, pink and white flowers on them. And this dress is perfect for spring. It is so pretty. The next thing I got from LF was this little plaid skirt. It's just like this. I think it's so cute. And these are really in right now. Like they have them at Brandy and LF and other places. And I don't know. Basically it's just like skinny here and then flares out at the bottom. Okay, the next thing I got were these pants. And these pants are so cool because... They have this lace trim going all the way down. At first I thought these were leggings when I saw them because they're kind of like a stretchy material but they're pants. You can just pair like a simple shirt with them and these are like such a statement. Okay, the next thing I got was this little cat hat and I tried this on in the store like as a joke and then I was like, oh my god, this is actually really cute and I really want it. Okay, so look. They are little cat ears. Like how cute is this? They're little cat ears on a beanie. I am obsessed with this beanie because it's just so cute and it just reminds me of me because I'm like a little kitty cat. Okay, so the next thing I got... Come on now. Next thing I got was this adorable bandeau. It just has like these straps um, on the front of it. It is really, really adorable. Like, I love this bandeau, but honestly, I don't know what to pair it with because whenever I wear it with something, it always ends up looking, like, really kind of inappropriate. I follow LF on Instagram, and they post pictures of that bandeau, and it looks completely fine, but then when I wear it, I feel like it just looks very scandalous, so I don't know. I wanted this so bad. Like, when I went, I was just, like, looking for this sweater. Hello. Who are you talking to? Uh, my camera. Oh. Do you want to build a snowman? Go away, Sage! Okay, bye. <laughs> I got this sweater, and basically it's just your normal sweater. It has, like, these cute little, like, tugs in them, I guess, but they work on another, like, little um, bunches in the sweater. And then, at the bottom, there's lace. Oh my god, I love it so much. Like, there's this really adorable lace trim at the bottom, and... It is so cute and I'm obsessed with it and they had this in a bunch of different colors so I got it in purple for my friend Susie. And the next thing I got was this cropped sweater and I've seen like I've seen like the Kardashians and the Jenners wear like cropped little sweaters like this with like a pencil skirt or something so I thought it'd be really cute. Basically like this very thick 
thick, like, fluffy sweater. But it's cropped, so you can wear it with skirts. Okay, and then the last thing I got was this little crop top. And basically, it's just a plain crop top. But it kind of has, like, this more um, V-neck type thing. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, like, a little of, like, I guess a cupped look. I also got one more thing from LF, but I couldn't find it. And this was frustrating me so much because I hate to film a haul when I can't find something. But anyway, they were just these plain black pants with um, little zippers like near the pockets. Just say these are the pants, like two zippers here and one here. Okay, the next store I went to was the store called Goga. And it was on Santa Monica and it was based off of like Project Runway. I got this shirt and it's very, very different. It's like this really cool like silk satin shirt with these um these ugh, what is this this is just like I don't know what this material is called but sleeves like this and then the satin again at the cuffs and it has this really cool pattern on it and this is the back the front just buttons up it's like a button up tee this dress I got it's more of like a winter dress but I really need it for like I need dresses for um temple services so basically it has like lace down all down the front and then it has these little um, ruched area on the shoulders and then it's long sleeve and it has this pattern all the way down and then at the bottom it kind of like ruches out again. Okay, so this next place I went was kind of like a hippie-ish store and I could not remember the name of it for the life of me but I will put it in probably like right here if I can remember it. I got two things and I just noticed that the things I got were the same color but whatever. I got this dress and I know they have dresses like this at Brandy Melville. I tried it on at Brandy a while ago and it really didn't look good on me but this one I guess is just like kind of shaped differently and this one looked really good on me and I've always loved this type of dress so I got this one. And basically it's really cute for like the beach cover up or like just like a sundress type thing. And I love sundresses when it's springtime. And then I just got this cardigan and I've, I've literally been looking for like basically a plain cardigan for so long. It's just like a basic cardigan but in um, the front it has kind of like this layering. And then in the back it has all these little holes. The next place I went to was Lululemon and I've never bought anything from Lululemon before. Honestly, I'm kind of like against Lululemon. But I really needed a new pair of leggings and I know that Lululemon has really, really nice leggings. Basically, they just look like this and they're like the three-quarter length type ones. And then I also got a little like, I think it was like a purple or blue headband for tennis because the headbands I have always slide off my head and this one has like a rubber thing on it but I tried it one day at tennis and like it kind of was like sliding off so I don't know how good it is and they're kind of expensive so I don't suggest buying them. I cannot find that also and I'm so frustrated I looked everywhere for this headband but honestly it's not gonna like make or break this video if I have a headband in it. Please don't tell me that you guys are very upset that I'm not showing this headband. Because this was a college trip of course you gotta get your college sweatshirt. Got this one from UCLA, and UCLA was the first school I visited, so of course I was like all excited. I was like, I wanna get clothes because they were having a sale, and what girl can resist a sale? I got this jacket, and it kind of reminds me of like those Abercrombie jackets because it's super, super soft, and then it has like those letters that kind of stick out. And then my sister Sage also wanted a sweatshirt, so when we went to visit Stanford, we got her this one, and it like is like a three quarter zip or something. Or like one quarter. I don't know what these zips are called, but it zips there. So that is all I got in California, but I recently did a bikini order on Victoria's Secret because it's been too long since I ordered bikini. First bikini I got was um, this purple bandeau top. It's exactly like my blue one, but my blue one got all messed up in the wash. And these bottoms, and these bottoms have like the ruching um, in the back. I don't wear these together. So like I just like mismatched them like I went to the beach and I wore like this with this bottom. Then I got um this one, this like blue bandeau and it's just a plain blue bandeau. And then I got this these bottoms with it and this just just like the string bottom. All of this stuff was on like extreme sale. This was during the semi-annual sale. And then I got this one because I've wanted this one for a really long time. And for some reason this is looking up, this is showing up on camera like this really like intense green but it's more of like a blue green and on camera it's just showing up like plain green and I promise you it's not because I don't even really like green 
but this is more of like a seafoam green color so it doesn't look like how it does on camera and I also got the matching bar. And I just got a plain black bathing suit because I've needed one of those and I don't have a plain black one and my friend Olivia wore the top to this um, when we went to the beach so I don't have it with me but basically it's just plain black bottoms with a plain black triangle top because I really wanted a plain black bathing suit. Okay, and then yesterday I went to Target, and I just want to show you guys what I got because I know you guys like to see this kind of stuff. Before I get into the Target stuff, I got my hair cut yesterday. So basically the salon I go to, it's owned by Aveda, if you know that brand. But they have very, very nice, expensive um, shampoo and conditioner. They look like this, and they're the small bottles. Generally, I'll just use like Herbal Essences or Aussie or something. But since my hair recently has been very like dead and gross looking, I decided that I needed to step it up with my shampoo and conditioner. Honestly, like I'm not a fan of spending a lot of money on that. If you use an expensive shampoo and conditioner, it's literally money going down the drain. Like you're washing it out and it's going down the drain. If it actually works and makes your hair really good, I will tell you. Then I went to Target and I basically just got some essentials. Um, I ran out of my contact solution so I just bought a new one. I also am running low on hair bands and I like to keep them in my car because I always need hair bands for tennis. I just got this big one because I'm going to put like half of them in my bathroom and then half in my car. And I got the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat spray and this is probably like the fourth time I've gotten this. If I live by any product it is this one. Like I cannot live without this Baby, oh my god, this product is amazing. If you don't have it, I recommend you get it. It's like $3.99 and it is amazing. Then I just got a refill of my like electronic soap dispenser. And then I just bought gum. My favorite's the extra spearmint one. Body Clear Body Scrub by Neutrogena. Um, like to use like an exfoliating body wash and this one's really good. And then I decided to get this water bottle because we recently got one of those big jugs that you put in that like little white thing. I have been like constantly filling up cups, like plastic cups, and that is not good for the environment. So I got a nice glass water bottle. Glass is cleaner, safer, and greener. I also got the Aveeno um, shave gel because my friend Susie has this shaving cream and it makes your legs so soft. Like it's just so nice. Pond's dry skin cream. And I honestly have never, like, bought a good moisturizer. Like, I have moisturizers, but they all have sunblock in them. I wanted, like, a night cream. So I don't know if this is any good. And then I got another one of these face wash. I have, like, constantly been getting this over and over again since my friend Gabby, like, introduced me to it. And I cannot live without this face wash. Face wash? <laughs> Nail polish remover. And this is, like, the little tub. You just stick your finger in there. It just takes off the nail polish for you. You don't need any of those cotton pads, which are so annoying, and they get all stuck on your nail. It makes everything so much easier. But it's a little bit difficult when you're trying to take your toenail polish off. New toothpaste. I really like the Crest 3D white one. Honestly, it's probably the packaging that draws me to this because it's, like, shiny and pretty. But I do love this toothpaste, and I like... Oh! Okay, so yeah, anyway, I do really like that toothpaste. It has, like, a really nice taste to it. I literally go through this paper so quickly. I just get college rules. I got um, new pencils because these are the only pencils I use and I run out of them like all the time. I got another hand sanitizer and then I got this little notebook and it has like um, metallic stripes on it. And the reason I got this is because I dropped my planner in the toilet. Which is not smart of me but I put it like on top of the toilet paper thing at my school. Like I just rested it on there. And when I got up, it just fell in the toilet. Really, really not a fun, not, not a fun experience. But yeah, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be uploading those vlogs soon. Um, I will link them below once they're up. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!